Welcome back people to the Michael Trotter's Crew Mod. This is season 6 episode 14, the season finale. And the reason why I say season finale is because we've got Dortmund where we're losing 3-0 and we've got two more games in the um, Premier League. I doubt we'll get a Champions League final because how we're going to come back 3-0 from 3-0 down but this is going to be an intense, intense episode. Also, I can show you who's in our World Cup group now. It is um, Netherlands. Finland and South Africa so I expect to at least get second from that group what I'll do is I'll stop the season there about the 18th and then I'll show you the season roundup so it might be an extra long episode with me playing three games rather than two but anyway let's get through this um, let's play against Dortmund and see if we can somehow bring back a 3-0 defeat in the first leg I'll go see how Cameras trained on one man. Oh, 3-0 defeat. The He's League. a top scorer as well. Total it's a shame. I don't think we'll get to the final, but I'm not giving up just it's yet. Fine. Let's see if we can hit them from the start the and be clinical in all, the all our chances. Because I guarantee we won't get a lot of them. That's not a foul. Can he finish? And intercepts again. Thought that was going to be another goal then. Isn't it ridiculous? A chance maybe from the wide position. Beliska. Off the post. Are you taking the beast? Off the post. Effective challenge. I've never hit the post with Beliska before. So he's either gone in or straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Well, the defending, not the bit. He's in behind. Takes the shot. Yes, I'll take it. Get the ball, get the ball. I'll take it. I don't care. I'll take it. <laughs> I probably should have sweated that, but it's gone in. We, we like need to draw two goals back now and make sure we don't concede as well. Oh, wow. What kind of... That was the worst ball control I've ever seen. Come on. Just try to get that back in the centre there. Emerson. I thought I could have had a free shot, but well, obviously not with their centre back just in the way. So Come on, one more before half time. Let's do it. Why didn't you just run past him? Like, are you dumb? Are you dumb, Hamilton? Come on. Stephen. Perry. Eustachio. Oh come on, Excellent Stephen! Defense. And don't forget, we have more Premier League Colin. action coming up for you. Is this the moment? Colin, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh gosh, we got 35 minutes to score a third and, it's a great and not concede. Through. Just seem comfortable, just but passing it around at the moment. Emerson, Sancho now. Why did he switch me off the player? Well, keeping their opponents moving That's what happened last game. I was not going to let it happen again. Emerson. And he read it Run. Well, intercepting it. Perry. And in with a real chance. Oh, Perry, that was awful. That was disgustingly awful, man. That was embarrassingly awful. Come on, we can do this, man. It's with Emerson, and the cross is very much on. He's offside. He's offside. He's, offside. He's onside! How is he onside? On aggregate and How? on away goals. Can they be separated, these two? We could be heading How is he onside? I'm confused. Look at this now. There's nothing much. Really is it because he came off Davison Sanchez, Sanchez last? To get in that I he's think that's how it works. There. I think it's because it came off Sanchez last. All right, let's, let's do this, man. Decent position oh, gosh, he's Jimmy. got me for pace. Of course he's got me for pace. What can I do? Brandt? Julius Brandt. I mean, yeah, it's Julius Brandt, isn't it? Emerson. That's excellent defending. Get that out. 
But oh gosh, that was a terrible from Hamilton. But this late stage, in behind for him to chase. That was awful. It was absolutely awful. We will bring some players on. Looks like a Lee will be coming on. Elva at the strike position. And can't bring anybody else on, really. Well, actually, actually, I shouldn't bring Hamilton off because he's good at he's good at penalties. So I should leave him up there. Always leave him up for a penalty shootout. So I'll bring Perry off. And Bellingham. Oh, why did you have to? It will be a potentially dangerous free kick. I don't know which side he's going to go. Oh, thank God! Thank God! This was a terrible pass. Well, we've we've managed to push it to extra time somehow. I don't know how we've managed to do that. It's a good job I shot when I scored the third goal because usually I would have just thought, "Oh no." And Bellingham. And we've got to remember as well is that um, a way goal still counts in extra time. I've never understood that rule at all, but um, they still count. So if they score, I am truly screwed. And Bellingham. This looks promising. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. That's a goal. Yeah, that's a goal. Oh, why do I have to score three to just lose in extra time? Why do I have to do that? Go on. Oh my god. Oh, well, it is Klosterman. That's the one time a defender's caught up to my striker and it's actually believable. Because he starts off with like 86 sprint speed. He's mad fast. Oh, come on. Hey, oh, come on. How have you just ran past him? It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Frazier looks like he's not even bothered. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Oh my gosh. Did have the ball, but well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. It might be. In it goes, and that should be that. Well, that was a waste of time then, wasn't it? What? How we score three goals to just lose an extra time? What? Lose this comfortably in extra Yeah, good luck to you in the final goal. Go, go away. Good luck to you. Right now, it's going to get even scarier because we've got Spurs and Man City to the end of the season. <laughs> it's literally going to get even scarier, man. Oh, my gosh. And Man United have won their 37th game, so we definitely need to win this. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is ridiculous, man. We're, oh, we're the bite. We're such a massive bottle job. We are. Like, how do we do this? How? Honestly, it's the goalkeeper. Like, if I had a if I had an 80 plus rated goalkeeper, I guarantee I'd save like a good nine points a season. More than what I've already saved. It doesn't save anything, man. And ironically, he might get the um, Golden Glove this season as well. If he does, give him a potential boost because I need him to start going up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe we left it to these last two damn games. Because this is the same position we was in last year. Left it to the last two games, ruined those, ruined the title. And what happened? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I remember what happened. How do you not intercept that? Lord! Well, he did his job defensively. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. The vastly experienced Belgian Kuhn Kandels will be in goal. Nabi Keita plays. Oh, what an opportunity! A truly magnificent start. I was contemplating if he was going to score that. Because usually when the keeper comes out, he's like, Ugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he shoots straight at him. <laughs> but yes. He was called under pressure well, there. Again, I was thinking to chip him as well, but uh, I don't have the confidence so with Perry. If that was coming, I would have done it all day. That was nice. Oh, what did Perry carry? And space for the cross. Go on, Beliska. Perry. Well, not the easiest oh. of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. 
Oh I'm man, he didn't it. have much pace on the shot, that was the problem. And now the delivery. Oh come on. Well, he, he always rises above and gets it, but his aim is disgusting, man. Honestly. His aim is the worst. Yeah, carry on doing that. Still could put it away. Terrific block there. Oh. I knew he was gonna do that. Had too much space down there alone. He's protecting it effectively. Losing possession a bit easily. That was the terrible. Muster a real threat. Steven, man. Luis Alberto. He's in control of the situation. And Kane saw his pass intercepted. Oh, wow, Colin. You out of all players. I thought he was going to let that go in. You know what he's like. Cater. Onto Lazzari. Lazzari. How about the cross? This looks promising. Plattered away. The man put his whole foot on my head, you know. This might be ideal for the counter. Possession changes hands. They Hammer to look like he's really slow. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully How does the that even work? Do that as well. How does that even work? Oh. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. On Perry. And You've done it earlier, do it again. We'll do that. There we go. <sighs> Cut them on the counter, 2 0 up. But we was 2 0 up against Leicester, so I'm not taking my foot off the gas. I'm not, I'm not doing it, man. Terrible pass. Good job, he's fast. No way he would have got to that otherwise. An attack full of promise. Now can they create something? Ah, oh, that was a terrible shot. You had all the time in the world. Like, come on. Well, he's given a corner. They referee. Making sure nothing came. Don't think he's offside. Wonderful block. And that, of course, it goes to them where there's nobody around him as well. And we have more live And of course that happens too. For you, so teams will have a real go at each other, I'm Come sure. on, we can do this. We can do this. Yes. Oh, I thought he was going to pull a stupid foul for that. Hamilton. Maybe from the wide position. Oh, he's through here. Could be. Yes. 3-0 up. Well, it's one goal. 3-0 up. Yes. That's it. Let's do this, man. The worst thing about this title race this season, again, is that there's a third person involved, Man United. And I've got a feeling that if we don't beat City, they're going to win. They're going to win the title. If we draw. There we go. 4 0. 4 0. Nine goals in the Prem for him. Colin. There we go. 5 0. Let's get into form. Get into the form, man. 16 goals oh in the Prem for Simon so Collin. Can he do it? Oh. It's up and up for him. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 6 0. 6 0. Hat trick for Collin. You need your shooting boots on next game, that's for sure. Get them in groove now. I'm going to bring him off. Just, just to be sure he's completely fresh. Tottenham players better get there. Not only a thrashing, it's an ass whooping man. Say it right. Kane, Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto. Beautifully weighted ball. Nice clearance. clearance. Oh my gosh. Roussillon. Intercepted. It's on the break. It's actually a good pass for once. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, surely. <laughs> Seven. And now he comes off. He's got his fourth goal. And now he's going to come off. 18 goals in the Prem. And a good chunk of them came in this game alone. Right, we win the game 7-0. Didn't expect that.
But we've got one more very, very important game to win. Okay, so, oh, all right. All right, so all we need to do is not lose the game. Yeah, because if we draw, regardless if Man United win, we will win the league on goal difference. So we just not need to lose the game. Oh my gosh, I just, I don't like, I don't like all these. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously I'm gonna go out to win because I don't, I don't want the stress. Let's get into the final game of the season to decide who gets the title. Bolton Wanderers, Manchester City or Manchester United. You ain't gonna find this excitement on any other channel out there. Well, you're probably like Flaky Fletcher Jet. You know these people, but yo, this is an amazing season. And we've got the World Cup a special edition as well. We've got, I don't know how many episodes that's gonna be. Obviously, it depends how far I get into it, but we need to focus on this for now. All we need to do is not lose the game. Um, but obviously, as I says, I'm gonna go out to win. It's, it provides me with a lot less stress then. But I can't lose the game. I can't lose the game. Top two. Neither side can afford to lose today. Damn it. it yeah, right, that's right. That's season. right. Stay tuned. We'll have all We've the action for Sterling you here. on EA TV. Gonna try to nullify that pace with um, Alfonso Davis. For Let's go. We've got 90 minutes Derek to prove. The we are and champions. And that's a terrible start. Lee that's Dixon. an awful start. And today's the day they could be crowned champions. It's Bolton Wanderers facing Manchester City. Well, thank you, Derek. I was speaking to some fans okay. ahead of this game okay. and they're in buoyant mood. You'd expect them so. They're a little bit nervous as well. Can they push their team over the line? Tell you what, well. there's going to be some incredible scenes here if they do. What the hell was that? Include everything went to plan in the win against Spurs. How do you see this game going? Nice deception from goals, Alfonso goals, there. Goals, goals, What a win that was. Could be a different proposition today, though. A lot tougher. I'm going for a draw. Oh my gosh. Daniel Malin. Daniel Malin. Possession well. And news of a goal in the match being played at Stamford Bridge. Let's get that. Colin, that's so unlike you. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. What are you doing? Come on, man. You are bottling it at Pressing the moment. High to win the ball. And they'll get ready for the throw in. I didn't say pass to him. Well, this is it, and they know full well in their last game. A draw and opportunity here. No, that no, 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 no. no. A significant one. It could be the goal. I can't have this for two seasons straight. I can't have it for two seasons straight. Come on, move forward. On a bad touch like that usually will mean giving the ball away. We are the biggest bottlers known to man two seasons in a row. We can't be doing this, man. Oh, Alfonso. What are you doing, Alfonso? Sterling. Well, the past, the oh my gosh, target. come on, man. And that pass could be troublesome. Yes! They've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Offside. Well, the goal offside, are you down. serious? Are you offside. serious? Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. <sighs> are you serious? Final day of the season. Final day of the season, and he's offside there. Any other time. Chances on. Takes aim. I should have sweated it. Why did I sweat it? What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? That was a terrible cross. It's awful. Oh, I wanted to sweat it, man. I didn't see him to the last second. That was a problem. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. We've got 45 minutes to score one goal. At least one goal. goal for Everton. 40... Big chance to get them on top. Oh, my gosh. You're Hamilton. Progress. Hamilton. Why is he out wide? Oh, you're taking the piece. Are you taking the piece? Come on. Is, is he missed that? Or has he come off them? Oh, he's came off the port. Are you taking the piece? Come on. 
I should have chipped him. And he's in. Top class defending. I didn't realize Colin would have been through. But it's not looking lightly now. Oh, what the hell? How to play for a Manchester City throw. That's their ball. Oh. How is that their ball? How is that their ball? So that, to go. that takes some skill to make that their ball. And giving it away. Turn around and make the pass, Hamilton. Just turn around and make it. You'll be able to see it live right here on EA TV. It's Manchester City. Are you offside? You was offside anyway, I'm pretty sure of it. But Hamilton took so long to turn around and make the pass. And the emphasis is on creativity. And he read it well. Davis, what the hell was that? Foden. Here's De Bruyne. Superb stop. Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that... Why is Hamilton backing off? Yes! That's what I'm talking about! 1-1, one, one, Colin missed the last chance last season to win us a title, but it looks like he scored it this season. Ooh. But we've got to, we've got to, we've got to, we've got five minutes left. We've got to say sound at the back. What the hell's Phil Foden doing? Get out of each other's way. Crossing possibilities. It's blood a whistle bit. Oh, we've won the title. See the scenes. Watch the scenes. What? What did he say? Manchester City have won the Premier League. We're celebrating, so it should be us. We've got the superior goal difference. But he definitely said Man City won the Premier League. Man City. I'm happy, but I'm not too happy because he keeps on saying Man City. We've got to go to the table after this and check. We're celebrating, we're there. Oh, oh. That's it's the most stress I've ever been through in all the career modes. It's got our ribbons on it as well. It's got the white, the white and the blue ribbons on it. This, this was intense, man. This was intense. I don't like how we keep saying it. But we're holding that trophy and nobody's gonna take that away from us. Again, don't take this away from us. Don't, don't take it away from us. Even if it went down on head to head, we beat them the first time and we drew against them the second time. We beat them on goal difference. We got more goals scored. But I don't trust EA and I don't trust the game. I'm gonna call this episode Conning's Redemption. Uh, no, no, that that might give away too much actually, so we won't call it that. But um That was an amazing, amazing uh, Man United drew as well. So that should make us champions, right? Definitely. Last game of this season, Indy clinched the title. Yeah. He's even saying it in here. I want confirmation from the actual table though. What was he doing this man? Alright, moment of truth. We've won. We've won. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We won on goal difference. It was absolutely ridiculous man. What a season that has been. What a season. Okay, I'll go to the end of the season. Well, not fully to the end, but you know, thereabouts. Because um, we've got the World Cup. It will be the, uh, a World Cup episode next episode. But, um... Yo, that was just amazing. 
absolutely amazing man. He's gone up by nine this season. This guy's an absolute baller. Looks like the next Colin. Okay. So here are all the players that will be going to the World Cup with us. Alfonso Davis, Jordan Hamilton, Derek Cornelius, Zachary Brook Goulard, Samuel Piet, Piet um, Liam Frazier, Simon Collin, Daniel Henry, Stephen Aguestillo, um, Kaniga Elva, Brendan Lee, Christopher Ward, Jose Johnson, Larry Beliska, Daniel Perry, Jason Clark, Connor Ross and Christopher Johnson. Okay, and here we are at the end of the season anyway, so what I'll do is I'll go through all of the leagues and then we'll go through the player statistics. So the Premier League was won by us on the final day in the most dramatic fashion. We Colin getting the not the winner, but the goal to get us a point. Huh, Man City finished second because of that. And it, the game was against them, of course. Man United finished third, two points beneath us. And Chelsea finished in fourth. Aston Villa finished fifth. And that makes the Europa League. And then Brighton, Watford and Stoke went down. And Stoke beat us and they went down. The FA Cup was won by Man City. So we'll be seeing them in the Super Cup at the start of next season. The Carabao Cup was also won by Man City. So they was trying to go for the three-peat. The three-peat. Now they was trying to go for the treble. The Super Cup at the start of the season was won by Atletico Madrid. And the Champions League was won by Dortmund. So we got knocked out in the semi-finals by the eventual champions. They won it on penalties. The Europa League was won by Valencia. 5-4 on penalties over... Arsenal. Now I'll show you the, all the World Cup groups while I'm here. Group A has England, Belgium, Denmark and Colombia. B has Spain, Russia, United States and Venezuela. Group C has France, Switzerland, China and Uruguay. Group D has Brazil, Turkey, Wales, New Zealand. Group E has Portugal, Hungary, Northern Ireland and Ivory Coast. Group, group F is the one we're in. So that has Netherlands, Finland, Canada and South Africa. Group G has Germany, Sweden, Australia and Egypt and Group H has Argentina, Italy, Czech Republic and Cameroon. Now I'll check the other leagues around the world. League 1 was won by PSG with Olympique Lyon, Monaco and Marseille getting the Champions League. Mets, Toulouse and Guampe got relegated. Bundesliga was won by Bayern Munich uh, by, wow, 14 points over Dortmund in second. Re um, Red Bull Leipzig and Hertha Berlin round out the Champions League with Hoffenheim and Leverkusen getting Europa League. Union Berlin played a relegation playoff against the second division team and Nuremberg and Bayern Munich too got relegated. In the Serie A, Juventus win the title, 7 points over Inter Milan in 2nd, Lazio and Atalanta round out the Champions League with Milan and Roma getting 5th and 6th of the Europa League. Croton, Benevito and Spezia would have gone down if the Serie B was here. In the Dutch League, Ajax won the Dutch League, 8 points over AZ, PSV and Feyenoord round out Europa League competition. And in the Liga, Barcelona won the title, most likely on the final day, yeah. Um, one point over Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid were quite far off the pace with 11 points, finishing third, Valencia finishing fourth, Seville and Villarreal fifth and sixth respectively, with Almero, Elche and Ibar going down. So I'll now show you the player statistics. Now, Chris, oh, Christopher, oh, let, let me show you, um, what I keep on forgetting to show you is the actual, the top scorers and all of that. So Hamilton got the golden boot, 30 goals in 34 appearances. It's a shame he couldn't break the, the 32 um, duck. He's always got next season for that. Colin had an amazing season, 31 a season, 35 matches. And Ward's actually got the clean <laughs> He actually got the golden glove, believe it or not, with 16 clean sheets. I'll, I'll try and remember to show you that more throughout all the years in career mode. So as I just said, Christopher Ward got the golden glove, so I can't fault him for that at all. Hopefully he gets a potential boost because of it. Mason Morris went up by two out on loan. Um, 
he's closing in on him. I will be playing him as a backup goalkeeper next season if he comes back next season. I don't know if he's a two year loan. Um, if he doesn't, then he'll stay there. He went up by three to a 68. Alfonso Davis went up by one, broke his potential, 90 rated. Two goals and three assists from left back. That ain't bad. And um, he plays really well. I do like him. Alexander Brown went up by three. I was hoping he would get to a 70 before the end of the season. Maybe he's still got a chance. I think I like him. He, he's a good left back. Um, Cornelius, a great, great centre back. A reason, one of the reasons why we won the league. Went up by two to an 80. Jose Johnson went up by two to an 84. Another one of the great reasons why we won the league. Jonathan Clark went up by, I can't count, nine to a 67. That is great. Last time I checked, I think he was at a 62 or three. So he really kicked on towards the end of the season. I don't know when he's coming back. Um, Daniel Henry, he is still 75 overall. I think I think he went up to a 76, but he might have dropped back down. Um, I am training Conor Ross and, and Charles Miller to replace him in the second team. Brooke Gillard, an amazing player. Another great reason why we won the league. Those all reasons why we won the league. Um, 82 rated, went up by two this season. Stats. So he had 16 clean sheets and 35 appearances. Same for um, Jose Johnson. Jose Johnson also had one goal. Cornelius, uh, 17 clean sheets, 35. Brandon Fisher, 66 rated. Um, the only problem I've got with him is his agility. He doesn't really feel agile, which I want from my full backs. But as soon as he does, he will be a very good back or full back for us. Piet, 78 rated. He's just there as a squad player now. Luke Jones, I think he'll be back at the start of next season. We'll see what we can do with him. Ralph Prizol will be leaving simply because he's the same rating, more or less, as Devin Gibbs and Luke Jones. And he's like five years older than them, so, or four years. Steven, great season, nine goals and four assists from centre mid in 33 appearances in the league. Hopefully, he goes up and gets a bit of a potential boost. Liam Frazier, he had six assists. That is pretty good from centre mid. Didn't realise he had six assists. Jason Clark, you know what, Jason Clark, he's always been just a squad player and nothing else. He'll continue to be. But this guy, the sole reason why we won the league. Look at these statistics. Uh, did, tell me if you think this is probably the best ever season we've ever seen of somebody on my channel if you've been watching for ages. In pre-season, he had four goals in five appearances, and then in the Champions League, he was a top scorer in the Champions League with 10 goals, five assists in 11 appearances. And then in the Premier League, 19 goals, 31 assists in 35 appearances. He's all world. He is a Hall of Famer. There is no denying that. Didn't score in the Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup. Victor Banks, he went up by 5 to a 69. Very good squad player for us. I will be keeping him around. Don't know if I'll be sending him out on loan or not. I'll work that out next season. Jaden Nelson, he scored two goals in eight appearances in the Premier League on loan all season with Wolves. He will be sold next season. Um, I was hoping he'd go up out on loan, but he hasn't done, so he will be sold. Kenniger Elver, two goals, two assists. Again, just a squad player and nothing more. Brendan Lee, great, great player. Great substitute for us. Five goals from the wing mainly in 20 appearances. Beliska, a better season than last season with nine goals and six assists in the Premier League. 86 rating now. Christopher Johnson, he is all world. In five appearances in the Champions League, he had four goals and three assists. And he had four goals and two assists in 18 appearances. Mostly off the bench in the Premier League. He's all world. He is a rising star. But another ridiculous season. Absolutely ridiculous season. In the Champions League, four goals, five assists and eight appearances. But in the Premier League, 34 appearances, 30 goals and 23 assists. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Thierry Henry is the only player in Premier League history to get more than 20 goals and 20 assists in the same season. Now it's him. I think, although I think he got that last season as well. Um, I might have to go back and check that. Amazing, absolutely amazing. 
and Cody Wilson will most likely be sold next year if he comes back off loan as well. So that is it, that is the end of the season. I'll, I won't see you for season 7 because we will be starting off in season 6 in the World Cup. So I won't be, you know, saying this is season 7 uh, Maple Trotters, I'll be saying this is the World Cup and stuff. So I'll see you in the World Cup, hopefully we can win it. But even in our group, we've got some tough opposition against Netherlands. I'll see you then.